hey youtube welcome back to my channel first of all a big shout out to y'all that have kept coming back for more i am super thankful and grateful for your support um i just recorded a new video for you guys on how i did my hair on my own bleached it um till it got to this platinum blonde whitish um color so without much further ado let's get into the video but have in mind that it's going to be a long one but it's worth it i promise it's worth it sorry y'all um i'm filming today in my daughter's bedroom because um <laughs> i still got laundry to fold in my bedroom so okay bear with me if you see the toys popping out out popping up behind me and uh yeah i just want to say if you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you keep coming then what you waiting for okay just subscribe and support a sister and yeah today with me i've got zoe this is my daughter her name is zoe and she's five years old say hi, hi. <laughs> so this whole process i did alone she thinks she's elsa okay don't snitch she's elsa okay this whole process i filmed with her so there's some um shorts that she had to hold the camera for me so i decided okay i'm just going to put her in the video because she's been so helpful during this video so yeah which without much further ado let's get into it hey youtube um today i'm back with another one and i will be showing you all how i bleach my hair to white platinum blonde uh, at the moment my hair is a little bit relaxed because relaxing i tried twice, um, and both times i went bald like my hair fell out like completely i didn't need to go to the salon to shave anymore because it was all out okay so <laughs> I decided for this tutorial I'm going to bleach um relax my hair first before I bleach it you know because it's better to bleach and blonde than blonde and bleach okay yeah so um for relaxing my hair this is what I used um motion motions and this is a classic formula hair relaxer I should hold it like this. No, that's wrong. I don't know. Maybe you see it, maybe you don't. And this is really um uh this product is really find. easy to find. You can find it at your local um beauty uh, store or afro shop, whatever um whatever is closer to you and here they have like a small um have like this little book thing that you can read the, the instructions and all that so it's like a manual for using the product so this is what I used um, it's professional hair relaxer because you know why you want to do this process it's um, very important to use um, products that are not going to damage your hair that much because trust me you're damaging your hair this whole process is gonna damage your hair like it or not but if you can still um, minimize the um, damage by using good product product and sometimes they are a bit more expensive than the cheaper ones and yeah but just go for the best okay if you want to do this process go for the best I'm not saying go for the most expensive ones but not the cheapest ones okay sometimes the cheap ones do do the job but try to get the professional ones so that's what i use to relax my hair let's see that's my hair um i relaxed my hair um i bleached my hair that's why you can see um some little blondes and yellowish yeah, that, that, that so is. what i like to do before bleaching my hair is protect my skin so i mostly use my jamaican um black castor oil to do that because it's thick and it's rich 
and it gives you like a really good layer of protection so what i like to do is just like put it on my finger and then like just go around my scalp my not my scalp my skin to like protect before i start using my bleaching um products so i just i just do this round and i also like to do my ear area because you know it's always gonna get there so try to protect it on time so that was it so i'm going to be using um six products for this process first i'm going to be using my first side and this is 40 percent guys this i've tried um the, the lesser um volumes and they didn't really do the job for me so i decided this time around i'm gonna go for 40 percent and this is the highest you can get in the market um secondly i'll be using the powder the blonde bleaching powder and i like to go for the purple one because it doesn't leave too much of that yellowish um after effect after bleaching so i go for the purple one um, I'm gonna be using gloves to protect my hands. I'm going to use it to be using a mixing bowl, and this one I got at the local beauty shop um, for two ninety nine euro. Um, this is really handy because you have this scoop thing here where you can just like reduce the product. As you can see, this is still new, so I'm just gonna try to get that out. Um, okay, that was easy. <laughs> And then I'll be using my tooth comb because my hair is really short, so I need something that I can really go through. So, yeah. And then um, my shower cap. So I like to go with this one because this is, this makes it really warm and it protects and it gives it that um, heat that is needed to work really good. So I like using this and this one I got also at my local beauty shop for €2.99. So to start, I'm just going to make a mixture, okay? So I'm going to wear my gloves because uh -uh. I'm going to bleach my fingers. Well, I, had, I have just one glove at home so I have to manage y'all. So I'm going to go with this. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going so to I try but you can really see what I'm doing so I'm just gonna do the mixture of camera because um, it's really my tripod doesn't want you to see what I'm doing so I'm just gonna do that off camera real quick I'm just gonna let's say I'm just gonna put the powder into this um, bowl and then I'll show you all the quantity of peroxide I'm going to use. So because um, this um, totally depends on you. If your hair is really much and you want to do this then or long. I'm going to add cookies so you can see a little bit there. And this one I go for 6 euros which is really affordable to think of. But anyway, win-win. So I'm just going to hold this one.
Letting this sit for 30 minutes. This is what it looks like. This is the first round of bleaching, y'all. Wet, I'm going to dry it so you can really see the actual color. Okay. Yo, this is from the relaxing this and this so be careful with your skin that's why that's because i didn't protect it when i was relaxing it so if you have to relax your hair please take care of your skin protect it before starting the process so i actually like it just a yellowish um, finish but because i'm doing this more than two times going to get to the white. I can see here it's already getting white. Platinum blue. So yeah. It looks a little bit like this when you let it stay for too long without using it. So wish me luck y'all. Just gonna apply this just like I did the first time. So as you can see over here is the reason why I like to go an extra mile. <laughs> to get all the edges because it gives you like a nice finish look I think I mean that's what I want anyway so it depends on what you want so just go for what you want don't you must not do it exactly like I'm doing it right now because we have our personal pre 
preference of how we want to bleach and how we want it to look like so just do what you want okay this is what i want so i'll stick on that again i'm going a little bit front so tomorrow i'll be doing the final bleaching because i think this won't like get me what I want so tomorrow I'll be doing it one more time to get my desired color so the bowl is empty now I don't feel like I wasted my money you know, <laughs> you know that with the price I want to lose nothing sometimes you do and you can't help it but not winning it so I'll let this sit as well for some minutes. Uh, I got some on my scarf. Again, before I started, sorry, I didn't video that part. I still did go with my cream, uh, my black castor oil. Oh, uh, this one. And I did go around my edges to protect. So it's kind of, it, it kind of, um, gives me the feeling that it's working even though I left it for too long so I'm really um, up for the surprise of how this is gonna look like but anyways what I want is a whitish um, platinum blonde white actually I don't want blonde, I want it to be white, silver white, like snow white, okay? So, I'll be sticking on that. So, that's it. this is it for now, the second time, and I'll let this sit for some time, and I will do a short video to show you how it looks like, looks like the second time I'm with you. Okay, till then. Beep. And for the white look, so... I will have to do this tomorrow. As you can see, it's really white. Like, it's white. Over here is a little bit yellowish. So, the first time, if you remember, I didn't use shampoo. So, this time I'm going to use it. So, to minimize the breakage and the damage, okay? So, I'm using my bubbles inside. And this is really good because it's for body, face, and hair. And it's really, it's an eco level product see and it says acting care planet planet 21 so let me see what ingredients are used for this one aqua sodium um lowered sulfate um yeah, I'm gonna skip that one. Okay. Name looks a little bit complicated. Anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my hair with some shampoo. Oh, feels really good. So I'm just gonna use my nail tips and like go over my scalp because um. Uh, you want? Um, um, conditioner aid with my shampoo 21 so this is how it looks like a little bit closer this is how the bag looks like okay. yeah so after Doing this second time, I'm going to use my sheer butter moisturizer, leave it conditioner because I'm trying to minimize the damage. So, welcome back, YouTubers. Um, today is day two of the process of bleaching my hair to platinum blonde white. Like the so face is not really thick. It's really a little bit watery, no running, no running, but okay. 
So again, I'm just gonna use this, my tooth comb to apply this. So YouTube, this is my hair after letting it sit for 30 minutes, the second day of coloring. So this is how it looks like, this is my hair. I have the feeling that some places are already like white, white, and some places not, especially like the middle area you can see. So I think I'll have to do this three times, but that's okay. So YouTube, this is how my hair looks like after bleaching it for the second day. Um, like I said, this was from relaxing. My skin got burned because I didn't um, protect it. So this is my hair. I hope you can really see it. Better than I can. So I can't see the behind. I'm just from showering and washing my hair so I don't really see it well. But anyways, that's the finish look. Still not white white. So we finally came to the end of the video. If you've watched so far and you haven't yet hit your subscribe button, please do hit the subscribe button. And if it's red, please make it gray because that's the way, yeah. like I said in my previous video. Yes, and thank you very much for coming back and I'll see you in my next video. Please like, share, subscribe and keep coming and we will see you in the next video. Yeah.